um, like the idea of replacement vegan items. So I don't use any um, replacement vegan eggs or replacement vegan butter. Um, so I was trying to figure out how can I make this vegan and the most wholesome, like purest from the most wholesome and purest ingredients. And that took a little um, testing, but I found out that you kind of can just omit eggs in almost anything and it doesn't make that big of a difference especially cakes cookies was a little trickier and then um for butter i just use um coconut oil and it's ah. a perfect substitute for i haven't had problems with it yet so i have to say i i've had uh one or two of your pop tarts i'll confess <laughs> and i i'm always very impressed at how flaky your uh your your the pastry part of that of that concoction is it's, oh thank you, you you do a nice job with that so thank I guess you. you have the you have the touch is there anything special that you do um or do you are they baker secrets well they're not quite baker secrets I guess I watched just like thousands of YouTube videos of people making pie crusts from vegan to not vegan and just gathered all their techniques and I found that the most important thing is that you must keep all your ingredients super cold and your mixing bowls um, cold because especially with coconut oil it melts really fast so you need to keep your fats cold so that you can have a flaky crust okay yeah so that's kind of hard to do in the middle of a chico summer but oh yes i struggled i did if you um noticed there weren't any pop tarts at blackbird over summer Ah. because the dough i would have said yes before i had my baking business but now that I bake all the time I get really excited when I get to not bake so Uh now I like making I love doing the pop-ups because those are really fun for me because um I can cook on site so I can offer things that are a little more fresher like what um well our listeners are drooling right now (laughs) um blackbird this Saturday is going to be having a um birthday party for a first birthday party and um, in the morning from 10 to 1, I'll be serving pop-up breakfast. And then um, after me, will be Tacos Brego serving up vegan f- tacos. And for the morning, I'm doing kind of a southern-style breakfast. So there's going to be, it, of course, it's all vegan. I'm making um, two different types of, three different types of biscuits and... Um, the first biscuit is going to be more of a traditional southern biscuit and um, it's going to have caramelized onions and a gravy made from beans and um, just a bunch of yummy stuff on that one and then the second one will be a cheesy bacon biscuit get out and so i'm making a cheese sauce from the vegetables that we've got at market and nutritional yeast of course is what you'll always need when you're making something cheesy and vegan and um then an eggplant bacon in the middle and then that's going to be topped with the cheese sauce and then i'm making a third one which is going to be a sweet biscuit and that's going to have um a cinnamon biscuit with um vegan cinnamon butter and then um i'm roasting butternut squash and that's going to go in the middle and then it's going to be topped with a caramel drizzle candied almonds and coconut whipped cream goodness so listeners if you're drooling right now you've been and you wonder why (laughs) because you've been listening to sydney carroll the master baker at near and dear baked goods who is talking about vegan baking and most of her uh a lot of her baked goods are available at blackbird book bookstore on park avenue all right well um, you're listening to Non-Human Radio on KZFR 90.1 FM, listener-supported community radio. I'm your host, Jeannie Trezino, and we have Sydney Carroll from Near and Dear Baked Goods as our guest, and we are in the middle of the first day of the fall pledge drive. KZFR is a non-commercial public radio station, and that means advertising doesn't pay for the program you're listening to now. We thrive thanks to donations from the public, like you, and KZFR one of the truly it's in the region
active in the region. 75 captain. All right. You out there, I'll had to have you back, but new support. Port here, the station greeting out. At about twenty three hundred dollars. Two years who want to care O one three in the case. Hundred or more at the top of the dollars as uh, local shows support for Casey. Well, let's see. What was I going to? Do? Oh, okay. Uh, what do you think is the most misunderstood idea about veganism? That food doesn't taste good if you eat vegan. That like we eat grass and yeah, lettuce and kale. And People are scared of kale, and they always think vegans only eat kale. But we don't. No, we don't. So, like, wh what's a typical day for you like in terms of food? Um. Well, in terms of what I eat, yeah. Would you say okay? Yeah. Um, for breakfast, I either decide if I'm gonna have a sweet breakfast or a savory breakfast, and I really like having oatmeal in the morning. And so right now, I am totally obsessed with butternut squash. And so I just boil some butternut squash while I'm cooking my oats. And then I'll smash it and um, add in some cinnamon and some salt. And um, I've got dates that I saved from last fall. There and you I'll, go. Um, sprinkle dates on top. And that's pretty much my go-to breakfast. And then if I want something savory, I'll always have avocado with um, some garbanzo beans on avocados. For breakfast? Of, yeah, that's Get one out. of my favorite things. And sprouts from market are really great. Nice. What's your favorite, like, comfort food dinner? Uh, my favorite comfort food dinner is... I really love biscuits, if you couldn't tell by the menu <laughs> this week. Um, so a biscuit is kind of good with everything. Um, and then... I really like making pasta. Pasta is probably one of my favorite comfort foods to make. Um, um, and you're not Italian, are you? I'm not Italian, <laughs> but I still make pasta. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. And um, so, do you have any advice for new vegans? Um, advice for new vegans, I would say to just learn how to cook and think of cooking as an activity and something fun rather than a chore at the end of the day. So, where would a new vegan go to look for uh, how to learn how to cook? Um, there's tons of videos on YouTube, which is how I learn most of my cooking techniques. Um, for food, I would say go to the market because you're going to find vegetables, and that's exactly what vegans eat. Okay. Um, and... Um, I don't know, I would just say read some vegan cookbooks and um, just if you cook with vegetables, you don't even have to really think of it as being like vegan. You're just like, oh, I'm cooking with vegetables and this is what I'm eating for dinner. So, okay. yeah. Right? You don't have any like um, particular authors? Do you have any, do you have any particular authors or, um, or did you just Google vegan cooking on YouTube and then see what, see what came up? Um, 
I really like watching Avant Garde Vegan on YouTube. He makes really fancy vegan dishes, and that's where I get a lot of ideas. And then、um, for cookbooks, I just go to the bookstore and see whatever they've got there and kind of just sit in there for a while, take pictures of some of the recipes,、ah, okay. and look around. So for cookbooks, I don't think I've got a particular、um, cook who's my favorite. I often look at non vegan recipes and try and see how I can transform them to a vegan recipe. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that is Sydney Carroll from Near and Dear Baked Goods. And, Sydney, please tell us where, where we can find you at this big shindig coming up.、Um, on Saturday, you can find me serving up hot biscuits at Blackbird Cafe, 1431 Park Avenue. And I'll be there from 10 to 1. And if you miss me、uh, and you can't make it there by 1, you can still come from 1 to 6 and get vegan tacos from Tacos Borregos because they'll be there too. Nice. Okay, well, thank you so much. And then,、uh, what's the, where can people find out more about you?、Um, you can find me on my Instagram at Near and Dear Baked Goods. And、um, same for Facebook, it's the same handle. And、um, right now, my treats are just at Blackbird, but I'm working on getting them into other coffee shops soon, hopefully. Excellent. And do you ever, and I, I understand you'll be donating some baked goods for the Saturday volunteer crew at the, for the KZFR、yes. pledge drive. Yes. Saturday and Sunday, I'll be dropping off some donuts probably for、oh、you guys. Oh my gosh.、So. That'll be some, some lucky volunteers. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Cindy Carroll from Near and Dear Baked Goods. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, great. We look forward to, I look forward to. Talking with you some more about some、um, vegan goodies in, in town and raising the standard of vegan dining in, in Chico. Awesome. I look forward to it as well. Okay. All right. Well, let's go on here.、Um, 